Hello, future millionaires. Welcome to Lux Society, a place where we inspire and motivate future millionaires. Today, we talk about how big is Amazon. Before we start, subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any updates. So, how big is Amazon? Well, let's find out all about it. Amazon was established in 1994 as an online bookstore. Later, in 1999, Amazon entered the 3C category of home appliances. From 2002 to 2004, it began to add apparel, jewelry, beauty, and other product selling categories. At present, Amazon has become the most influential leading e-commerce company in the world. Talking numbers, Amazon's 2019 revenue reached $280.5 billion, and its net profit increased to 11.6 billion US dollars. Alibaba's revenue in the fiscal year 2019 was 56.1 billion US dollars, which means that Amazon's revenue is about five times that of the Chinese e-commerce giant. Since Alibaba went public in 2014, the scale of Amazon and Alibaba has gone through three stages. One, Alibaba's lead period. Alibaba's core e-commerce business expanded rapidly before 2015, relying on China's huge e-commerce. In the market, Alibaba once surpassed Amazon in market value in the initial stage of listing. Two, equally divided period. After 2016, the market value of Alibaba and Amazon is about the same, and Amazon's market value is slightly ahead of Alibaba. Three, Amazon's surpassing period. After 2018, Amazon has greatly surpassed Alibaba. Amazon's market value has reached 1 trillion US dollars, and Alibaba has hovered around 500 to 600 billion US dollars. Although Amazon's performance in the Chinese market is far less than Alibaba's e-commerce business, and Amazon's market share in China is negligible, in 2019, Amazon e-commerce officially withdrew from the Chinese market. However, Amazon is much larger in the international market than Alibaba's e-commerce business. Many people don't understand this very well. So, for everyone to have a more intuitive understanding of the scale of the e-commerce empire Amazon, we will analyze it from the following two dimensions. 1. The business sectors involved in Amazon In terms of business sectors, Amazon includes retail business, both online e-commerce and offline physical stores, hardware production, cloud computing services, content production and logistics services. Amazon is also continuously acquiring various companies across industries, acquiring food and clothing companies to expand its categories, acquiring community websites to attract customer traffic, and acquiring media and entertainment companies. At the same time, it has also invested in artificial intelligence and industrial internet businesses. Two, the scope of Amazon's global business. Amazon has established 14 major sites around the world and more than 100 global operation centers. Amazon's advantage in cross-border e-commerce business lies in its rich international sites, rich brand partnerships, and huge cross-border logistics system. Judging from the global distribution of Amazon's storage area and the number of warehouses, Amazon has now entered 21 countries around the world. It likes to repeat shopping statistics, which often surprises people. In the United States, even during a pandemic, only about $14 of the $100 worth of merchandise purchased online is used online. Amazon pays about $5. So, is Amazon the giant that dominates our internet spending, or is it the blip of the American shopping world? It depends on how you look at the numbers. Amazon is huge for internet sales, but small compared to all the products Americans buy. Our perception of Amazon's size influences what the public and policymakers think about the company. Still, the percentage of company spending is important, but it doesn't tell us everything. Please allow us to be a little geeky about the numbers. Without a doubt, Amazon is the king of online shopping in the United States. Research firm eMarketer estimates that Amazon accounts for more than 40% of American e-commerce spending this year. Walmart, the second largest internet store, is far behind at around 7%. However, internet shopping remains relatively small. The situation is a little different depending on how you count. Amazon accounts for about 5% of total US retail sales, according to US government data on online shopping and eMarketer estimates. The number exceeds a huge variation. In some categories, such as books and electronics, online shopping far exceeds half of all purchases. In major categories of personal consumption, such as groceries, cars, and gasoline, Americans still buy almost everything directly. Data can be a weapon. Amazon often uses the 5% sales version to counter critics who say the company is too big and powerful. They are trying to answer whether companies are hurting us by abusing their power to gain an edge over their competitors. 
Amazon has had a huge impact on people's behavior, industry-wide strategy, and our community. No matter what the numbers say, what you see in real life after Amazon is the big spillover from a small market share. Similarly, Uber and Lyft are just a small part of the mileage in the United States, but they are a major contributor to increased traffic. At the end of the pandemic, if a small percentage of US office workers are working from home, the functioning and finances of some cities may change. So, is Amazon big? Yes, no. And in reality, Amazon is drawing the attention of people, other businesses and governments because it influences the transformation of the world. What is a TV in the smartphone era? I love TV, I always have it, but even now, 14 years after the iPhone went on sale, I'm still surprised that new forms of TV are built primarily with computers and TVs in mind. T-Mobile said this week that it has stopped the short-term attempt to create its live TV option that people can watch on their mobile phones. This was a strange strategy. T-Mobile's previous TV services and YouTube TV were trying to recreate the cable TV but via the internet. Still, a lot of Americans are quitting cable. Why are you trying to duplicate it? But T-Mobile's fumble is filled with good questions. Why is video entertainment not increasing, especially on smartphones? The phone is where Americans spend more of their time, and people in many big powers, including China and India, are already spending almost all their screen time. Indeed, people are watching America's most popular video entertainment services on the phone, such as YouTube and Netflix. However, there is still no highly successful US video entertainment service built for smartphones. Although well discussed, Quibi, which eventually failed in a short video series like TV, was created for viewing on our mobile phones. But otherwise, is it? TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat are video entertainment services built for smartphones. And maybe it's the future of television. You didn't think you saw a TV on your old bunny ear set, but these apps entertain us when you wait in line at a grocery store or lie down on the couch at night. Increase. Maybe the future of television is already here. It doesn't look like an old TV. Before going. Chinese boycott anger. My colleagues Ray Zong and Paul Moser have taken action against H&M in the clothing chain, including an image depicting an enslaved cotton picker in the United States. I will explain the reason. Related, how the Chinese online brigade opposed the wife of a US diplomat. Thousands of NYPD mobile phones have been confiscated. News site The City reported that the New York Police Department seized more than 55,000 mobile phones in 2020, about 40% of which were not returned. One defense lawyer described it as a wild goose chase for people to get their cell phones back. Little Nas X takes advantage of the internet. In the Garbage Day newsletter, musicians spotted criticisms of the latest music videos online and evaluated how they could turn them into TikTok dance and merchandise sales. Thank you so much for stopping by. And remember your dreams will come through, just believe. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel Lux Society. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Bye.